This video is part of a larger series on a project for the Element 14 community, the electronics and engineering community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com, link in the doobly-doo. Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and if your favorite kind of pie is raspberry, then go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And now, tally-ho! This is the Google AIY Voice Kit, uh, version 1.0. Came out in about 2017, and it was this weird sort of confluence between like Raspberry Pi, Google's cardboard project, TensorFlow, and Android Things, all these sort of weird like uh, disparate projects at Google kind of coming together and building a series of these kits where people could mess around with their burgeoning AI system without too much upfront expense or, or investment. You know, it's a couple of boards and a button. It's, it's not a big deal. This one in particular, uh, this came as a pack-in with a certain issue of the Magpie magazine, which is the official Raspberry Pi magazine. It was impossible to get uh, I was uh, trawling my local bookstores for weeks, but I could never find it on the shelf. And eventually I just kind of gave up. And a few months later, uh, I was able to find this at Micro Center. So here on the back, AIY Project Springs, do it yourself, artificial intelligence to your maker projects. This was like right in the, the heyday of the big maker movement. You know, maker was a thing. Make was still a brand that... Uh, was solvent <laughs> and uh, people were you couldn't keep raspberry pi on the shelf uh, they, they just could not keep up with the demand i actually saw this at goodwill a while back and goodwill is just ugh, for electronics they always overprice their stuff and this was they had this at goodwill for like 60 dollars and i'm like it wasn't 60 dollars new and it's not that big of a collector's item. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking when they priced it like that, but anyway. I've had this sitting on a shelf for years uh, because I have not had an opportunity to mess around with it, which is, it, you know, it kind of bums me out a little bit, but at the same time, I've been busy with, well, bigger projects. But now is a great opportune time to mess around with it as part of Project Mego because I'm literally building an AI assistant. So let's crack it open and let's take a look at what we've got inside. Take the sleeve off there. I like this nice little box. I love these sort of boxes that are just like, you can just kind of open like a pizza box kind of thing. So Magpie Essentials free guide inside made with you, made by you with Google. Magpie Essentials AIY Projects Create a Voice Kit with your Raspberry Pi with Lucy Hattersley. So that's the little book. The little book, they normally charge £3.99 for it. AIY Projects Voice Kit. Um, the accessory intended to be used with the Pi 3 Model B. Any 40 pin Raspberry Pi will work. The 2 is really, really sluggish from what I understand, but the, the 3 Model B and up should be fine. So here we have, uh, we got our, our little bits of cardboard that we're gonna use to build the thing. Uh, got a nice, uh, nice big old, big old four ohm speaker, three watt speaker driver. That's, uh, that's gonna be fun. Uh, let's see, got a big red button. Got some wires, it looks like a uh, retaining nut for the button uh, and couple of little daughter boards that uh, go on to the uh, Raspberry Pi. So first we have the AIY voice hat, which is a 40 pin hat that goes on the Raspberry Pi. Has a spy interface, I square C interface. It looks like it has a bunch of uh, breakouts for uh, some servos and for some motors. And then a button uh, and microphone connections so that is that oh and then here's the speaker that's where that goes you could do i suppose you could actually solder another header on there and do uh stereo yeah 
and then it looks like there's a uh, there's a little um, solder pad that you would jump to uh, make it stereo output. Uh, probably not using stereo on this because there's only really the one outlet, so that's okay. And then it looks like there's a spot here that you can solder in a uh, barrel jack connector uh, for that. So that's fun. That's kind of cool. And this, this little guy is the, um, little guy just looks like a microphone. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a, it's a dual channel, probably a wide band microphone. Um, so that's, that's that. So and there's really, oh, well, there's nothing else in here. So that's, those are all the parts. So I guess uh, the next thing to do is just to put this thing, start putting this thing together uh, with the Pi. Okay, we've got all of our parts all knolled out here. It's not exactly like a Tom Sachs knolling, but uh, it'll get the job done here. So we've got our Raspberry Pi and our voice hat, and we've got a couple of standoffs, and that's the first thing we got to put together. So we've got our hat and our Pi. Now you got a 40 pin connector here, and that's just going to set just like that. But it's going to be a little uh, floppy. That's where these little standoffs come in. So before we put our hat in place, we'll stick one of these on each of these small mounting holes on the pie, and then line them up on the mounting holes on the hat. Just kind of hold them in place, line up our pins on the pie, and just press everything to fit. Next thing we need to do is attach the speaker. And we've got this nice big old 4 ohm 3 watt speaker driver here with a red wire and a black wire. And that is going to go right into the appropriate terminals here on the hat. Red going to positive and black going to negative. All right, we need to screw those in place. Looks like a uh, like a double zero crosshead. Then we're going to attach the button cable. You know it's the button cable because A, it has four wires coming out, and B, there's spade connectors that uh, go onto the spade connectors here on the button. So we'll just find our Molex connector marked button, line it up, as such, and there we go. The next thing we need to attach is our microphone cable. And you'll notice that um, they're actually reversed relative to each other. Just plug in five wire right there on the Molex. Take the microphone and we're just gonna plug it right on in to that end of the connector. And you see we've got a left channel, we have a right channel. And that's gonna be our, uh, our little stereo microphone. Okay, we're gonna set all this aside for a minute. The next thing to do is to put the cardboard together. So this is pretty simple. We're just gonna uh, open her up like that. And you see you've got uh, different folds and different places, like here's the button, here's where the microphone goes. This is obviously where the speaker goes, right here. So, one, fold two, fold three, and fold four. It's just like putting a box together. So you see we've got that side there, underneath the two flaps. And then one flap comes down on top, and everything goes just like that. Now this one's a little bit curious. So there's, there's one here, two here, and we know the speaker goes there. Okay, so these go up, and then that comes like this, and then this whole thing goes down, and this becomes where, like, the speaker goes. It's kind of weird. And then it goes like that. And so that piece holds that part together. The speaker goes in like this. It goes there. And then that goes behind. Ah. All right. So then this 
goes around. That. So this is kind of weird. So like this goes that way. Goes right there. But number two goes right there. And that's how that goes together. And then we take the whole thing, the whole assembly, and we slide it into the box. That. Now the next thing to do is to put the button into the big old hole that says button, just like that big old chunky red button. I assume it's a glowing button too. All right, now we have to wire the button. Okay, so you've got this, uh, you got this crown, and starting at the top left of the crown, you're gonna go white, then black, red on the bottom right and blue on the bottom left. Now the last thing is to fit the microphone board here uh, on the appropriate spot. Now, they don't include a way to actually attach this, so we're gonna have to improvise, and I think just for right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push, uh, I'm gonna push these pins into the, into the uh, cardboard here kind of hold it in place for now. And I think what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll just hit a little dab of hot glue. Yeah, you can see they're, they're kind of in place there. Okay, all well, that's together. I guess the next thing we do is we just fold these guys down, pull those flaps down, and go. A little cardboard box with a big red button on it. Okay, well, I guess we got to get some software set up, huh? Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to set up the software, and we're going to go to aiyprojects.withgoogle.com. I'll put a link in the show notes. That way you can get uh, you can get uh, access to all these, uh, these links, because they're kind of complicated, because this is like a really long <laughs> URL. So uh, get the latest system image uh, on their GitHub. Flash! Okay, we've got our Raspberry Pi set up. I'm uh, connected to the Pi here. This is the desktop that we would normally see. And we just got to check a couple of things here. I just want to check the audio. Front, center. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Okay, next thing we got to do, we go to console.cloud.google.com. So we're here, we created a project Mego, uh, which is actually just very simple. We just, um, you just go new project right here, and then you type a name in there and create. And I've already done that. So now we're going to go to credentials, we're going to create credentials, and an OAuth client ID. So enabling the API, go API and services, we search for Google Assistant API, and then we would just click Enable right there. So now it's managed because I've already got it set up. So we go to Credentials, Create Credentials, OAuth Client ID, and it's going to be Other. We're going to call it Voice Recognizer. Okay, then we've got uh, our Client ID and our Secret, which you're not going to see because it's all going to be blurred out. And then right here, we're going to download the JSON for it, which is right there. And open up a terminal, cd downloads, and right there, the client secret. Move client underscore secret to home slash pi slash c. 
assistant.json. Okay, start in dev terminal. Uh oh, oh dear, no module. Well, that's that's a problem. Okay, so I was having some problems uh, getting the uh, Python file for the demo to run. Uh, so there's one other thing, if you're having trouble with that, there's one other thing you gotta do, and you're probably gonna have to do this. I have SSH into the Pi. This is home AIY projects, Python source AIY assistant, auth underscore helpers dot Pi. Uh, and we're going to go down to line 75 where there the problem was. Right here, this is the line in question. It was just like minus one, and that was that was the end of the line. So what you have to do is you have to change that to preferred equals true, and that will fix the problem. All right, let's do slash dot assistant library demo dot pi. Okay, that's gonna ask us to sign in and allow Allow, close this window, maybe that'll work. Press button to start conversation. Hello. Oh. Hi, how can I help? Fantastic. I'm happy, you're happy. Open the pod bay doors. I can't do that, but there's a spare key under the flower pod outside the pod bay airlock. You can let yourself in. <laughs> oh, what can I say? Try one of these. You can say, how do you say hi in Korean? Or what's the temperature? <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay. All right. Now we have our own little cardboard Google Assistant guy. Now I'm gonna be doing a lot more with this little gadget, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. Go ahead and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Up here is a video that YouTube thinks you will probably enjoy. And then there's show notes probably somewhere right around here. Questions, comments, you can get me on Twitter at Airborne Surfer. And if you want to see sneak peeks of new projects and whatever silliness I've got going on, Instagram at The Airborne Surfer. My name is Atari, and until next time, remember, it's okay. It's just a prototype.